I'm going to read this, but I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. I'm going to put this by Melissa as well to sit back with the music. Doctor of chiropractic. Uh, Alyssa is the, uh, the animal chiropractic extraordinaire. I have friends of mine that use her on a regular basis. You know that sends it all of them up there in their uh, barrel racing group. After seven years of school and an associate zip with Iowa and Illinois, they nest in the bottom until they have two boys, age four and six. This one has three mini schnauzer dogs and a 25 pound tortoise. Yeah. Wow. Really? Quinn's hobbies include swing dancing, skiing, mountain bike, dirt bike. Chasing down Pete's in Moab with his lessons, okay? <laughs> but here's the other thing I'll tell you about Dr. G too. When I had an accident and I had to go to him to have my, my uh, neck <coughs> taken care of, he got to the point, he said, George, I'd love to keep taking your money, but it's not gonna do you any good. I need you to go to the rehab place because they're gonna be able to help you because I can't. <laughs> and that's the kind of chiropractor that Dr. G is, so. Dr. G, it's all yours, buddy. <laughs> Just happened to be rolling the dash down. 
<laughs> they do they get hit too. They caught that footage and so they did some other stuff. Hey, so, uh, yeah. I don't know if people are actually entering. It looks like a Jeep to me because of the hinges. And the flip one goes over there. Yeah? Oh, no Lexus on this one. <laughs> so that's the, the picture of the Jeep from before. And um, it is important to you know, be equipped and know what you're getting yourself into. Now, highways can be dangerous too. This is um, I-15, now my danger. Okay. And seven seconds in, for those that didn't see this last time I showed it. So we're in it. Truck hits the driver's door while I go backwards, flips back around, and the truck rolls up over my trailer and my side by side. My wife was driving, I was not with her. And she had a lot of spinning motion, but not as much of the whiplashing type of stuff, fortunately. Right. And her car would not have been totaled if he hadn't hit it a second time on the driver's side. And the highway patrolman was really confused. There's a tire mark on her driver's door. And he's like, oh, that was from the trailer after it flipped around. Right. You know, it was a big honking truck tire. And did they find out why he rear ended it? was a curve and he fell asleep. And he sure didn't admit that to the highway patrolman. He was oh 15 at night. And he rear ended hers. And it yeah, the tug of the trailer. Oh, yeah. Well, it's great to tug the trailer. Yeah, it's that's your like that. Yeah. So, of course, he's like saying, well, there's a real road that ran over. So, the highway patrol said that was no fault. Uh, oh, yes, I was. I pulled out the video, sent it to the policeman. Awesome. Yes, I was. Yeah. yeah. And the highway patrol was still couldn't fully interpret the video that I gave him the ride for. Wow. It was enough to fix all the legal stuff. So, apparently, I'm an advocate of having a dash cam. Guess what our price run is today? A dash cam. This is just fun to have. I mean, it might incriminate you, but it's worth the chance to absolve you and show what actually happened. So, how long did that take for my wife to flip around? Like three seconds? Oh, yeah, that's what it's like. She doesn't know what happened. I would not have remembered what happened. It's dark. I did have a rear facing dash cam too, and it showed that. The, when the brake lights came on was after all this thing. So she didn't brake. She didn't deviate from her lines. She was just going normal and all of a sudden that approach. And the sound would have to be turned off. So even without sound, without a clear rear shot, wow. it proves exactly what happened on the accident. Wow. So don't drive from New Mexico to Montana and pass through Salt Lake in the middle of the night. Okay. Fall asleep. This is a picture of the spine. So, most people think chiropractors really like bones and stuff, and they are important, and we like to crack them and whatever else. New guy actually don't do much cracking with that. Of course, sometimes you gotta work from the bottom up too. But the nerve goes through the joints. The nerves are what we care about. When your nervous system is not functioning perfectly, or optimally, as close to perfect as possible, that's when you get disease and degeneration. And when you get whiplash, I'll see that on X-ray in five years. It's better to get it fixed up front. So what I'm looking for today is people who are in a car accident. Your babysitter, your nanny, your parents, your grandparents, your spouse, your kids. Guess how much it costs to get car crashes after a car accident? And if you have, um, if you're at fault, you still get covered up to your insurance limit of which Utah requires three thousand dollars of pet insurance. Three thousand will cover some chiropractic. If you're bleeding and have broken bones, you go to the ER first. That's all you need. Now, what about the person sitting next to you? So you're involved and you caught a wreck. And how about your spouse? Are they at fault? Well, they're not going to just yes, it is. They're 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 <laughs> Yes. So they are not at fault according to the insurance. And they can actually make more medical care with the third party policy. Now, if you're not at fault, then you get the full third party policy. So I'm not an insurance agent, but I would never buy the 25 to 65 coverage. I would go for either 100, 300, or the 250, 250. And if you're a business owner, you need the 250 plus an umbrella policy. Here's some whiplash stuff. It really does make a big impact. Um, I have a couple of Cairo buddies that we, sometimes we send text messages and they sent me one yesterday about a neck and this bone island thing in the back. And it was really entertaining 
course, there's no patient information or anything on that. But um, we see the changes on your spine. And it's because of dysfunction. So if you can make it function again, it's generation doesn't happen. You have to fix the structure to get the function, and then you feel good. Yeah. Some people think we remove pain. And I'm happy when pain gets removed. But as much as I do care, I want to check the function. Here's some spinal cords. Here's a disc. So discs are like jelly-filled donuts. They're soft in the middle, harder on the outside. And from compression, it can squirt through. You gotta have an MRI to see that. There's all these little ligaments. So this picture probably doesn't mean a whole lot to most of you. This is on the Atlas. That's my favorite. And if you tear a ligament, you need a new get out. So um, that is where we are going to stop for today. And you should definitely go to the car crash if you're in a car crash or if you just want to use cash pay or a uh, blue cross. I'm happy to look at those because the Medicare gets a good discount to Dr. Grover and now for Smile Care.